Let's make a bit of room here for, to get the other side of the A team in, sitting between the A team. I know exactly. Wait a minute, no sponsorship deals. Go on, cover, cover these logos up. Actually, we've got, we've got the same sponsor, John. I didn't realise. Yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. I'm looking at the old school Hitman fight game. Love it. Yeah, look at that. Love it. Sorry, what have I got on the hook? Oh, ethics and antics. Now that Love it. There we go. Pushing Brad. Shall we get my underpants label out or no? Let's, let's, let's leave it there. Yeah. Uh, we, could be, we were just chatting about the undercard and everything else, and Dan had just, before I could get there, started talking about the main card. But one thing I do want to talk about is that great fight, that great matchup, Arnold Allen, Amir Carney. We haven't seen neither of these guys in so long. I'll ask Dan about how I, I, or I, sorry, I thought Amir Carney looked today. I thought he looked very drawn today. But John, yourself, obviously, how do you see that fight playing out? We haven't seen these guys in such a long time, but talent-wise... You know, Mr. Finland against, if you like, Mr. UK. Uh, Mr. UK, they both got the six-pack for it, right? Well, it's done in 60 seconds, apparently. That's what Maquan's saying. Yeah. It's going to be over in 60 seconds. One thing I like about that is speaking with Arnold. Now, I've known Arnold for a while. I've been lucky enough to train down at his gym, met him a bunch of times. He's a young kid who's grown up on the circuit. His dad, for example, is a, a fighter himself. And, a, and if anyone's seen the On The Fly, he was digging at Arnold on the On The Fly. He's, he's always a wind-up. That kid is not going to be like rattled by anything Maquan says. He's he's had that stuff since he was about 12. He's had an older brother and a dad, as I said, who's really playful with him. So he's just really excited about showing what he's learned at TriStar. He's now been accepted as part of the group over there. Whereas Maquan, we don't really know. You know, he's but he is back at SBG. That's he is, that's right. He is back at SBG, but uh, yeah, I think he. You never really know what, Maquan's there, he's putting something forward. Yeah, and, and I think that's almost like, a, and it, this is no slight on him, but he's packaging something to show us at the moment and tell us what he's gonna do to, to really hype things up. Well, we don't need that, you know, because his performances or the, the results have spoken for themselves. But Arnold, was it was a very honest conversation, so I, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what he's going to come with because he's been really enjoying wrestling. He's been down to the Montreal Wrestling Club and doing some stuff there, and he's picked out a few guys that he works with very well. Zach Makovsky is a guy in particular that's come up. So, yeah, it's, it is a good fight, though, for the, for the region. Sometimes, as I've been saying, I'm kind of down on seeing a few of these take away the win streaks, or maybe even there might be a couple of places where people are looking at their papers, and it's... Brits versus Brits or Europeans versus Europeans but it's the game the best must win yeah, exactly. John touched on it there obviously Arnold's been putting special attention on his wrestling makes perfect sense that's Macwan's background but just come back to the media day Dan Macwan was the one that stood out for me I thought he looked drawn I thought he looked like he might be struggling at the weight and the flip side of that is I thought Arnold looked like a weight below yeah I mean you know the thing is with, with Arnold Allen it's, an, it's not until he takes his shirt off that you look at him and you think oh okay He's a well-conditioned athlete. I mean, he, he's got a very boyish face. And I think a lot of people can look at him and kind of write him off a little bit because he doesn't, he doesn't look like a fighter. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's why I like him. You know, it, Almighty is a great name for him because... Triple yeah, right. He just, he just you know, he, he sees it. He, he finds his way through the rough spots in the fight. And he's got that, that tenacity and that self-confidence that eventually he'll be able to turn it around. And it's going to take someone like that to slow Macron down, to someone that can weather that early storm because... He's always going to come at you with that crazy flurry. I mean, we, you know, we saw it against Andy Ugo, it was like six, eight seconds or something. And then against Massimo Fullen as well, it was a very quick, very quick fight. He, he was very dominant. He didn't really allow Massimo Fullen into the fight. So wh whether he can do that to Arnold Allen or not, I don't know, because we've seen him come through all kinds of war attrition. You know, we've seen him last through a really, really tough first round and come back later on in the fight. And that's going to be the kind of fighter that can slow Macron down force him to fight into the later rounds and then really test his game. 